Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new here, hey, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing for lots more diamond painting content. And if you are back, as always, welcome back. Today, I am here with a post review video, which is just where I kind of do more of an in-depth review of one of my recently completed diamond painting kits. If you're curious to see uh, the various post reviews that I've done on my channel in the past from a really wide variety of diamond painting companies, I do have a playlist dedicated to just that, and that'll be linked below in the description box. So feel free to take a look, especially if you're just wanting to see, I, I try to review a really wide variety of diamond painting companies out there. But the one I have for you guys today is a really, really special and meaningful one to me that I am just, I'm just so happy to be doing a post review on this one. The name of this one is My Inner Sanctuary and it's by the artist You May Art and is from Diamond Art Club, legally licensed of course. And I have my paper logbook here, which is where I track things like my start and end date and the stats and whatnot. So I started this one on October 30th and finished it on November 20th. And it was finished number 143 of kind of all time diamond painting. And then for this year, number 37, this was actually also my only finish for November of 2023. As far as the stats go, this size was 70 by 81 centimeters. It has 59 colors in total and square shaped drills. And um, actually, you know what? I have the larger sticker uh, with the original artwork if you're curious to see. But here's the original artwork. This is from Yume Art's Glass Instrument series, which Diamond Art Club has released three or four of at this point. And uh, this is the one that I was most looking forward to. Um, I actually, I play piano. I've played piano for um, almost 30 years at this point, and it has just a lot of meaning to me. Uh, it's been a really big part of my life. Um, it was, you know, I majored in music education, but beyond that really, just piano has always been just one of those really core special like interests of mine and just a way to, I feel like you can kind of experience emotion and express emotion. And there's just something about Yume Arts, her artwork that I feel like just encapsulates that in a way that is just very much my style and just feels like an expression of of those emotions in the same way that actually playing piano does. Um, not to get like overly poetic here <laughs> in terms of how I'm talking about it, but when I first saw Diamond Art Club releasing some of Yume Art's glass instrument series, I think the flute was the first one, um, which is called Petals Fall. I uh, immediately had kind of like looked more into it. And as soon as I saw this piece, I just thought, oh, oh, please, Diamond Art Club, please, please, please license and release this one. And um, my heart was just so incredibly full when I found out that, yeah, no, it was happening. And I had to work on it right away. That was kind of the conundrum uh, was, do I want to work on this immediately? Because I'm just like, I'm so happy and so excited and overjoyed about it. Or do I just kind of like sit on it and savor it and um, just sort of, yeah, just let, let it sit so I can, you know, before I actually dive into it. And I have to be honest, you guys, this is one of just a really, really rare handful of instances where I have genuinely thought about buying a kit twice, a, a having a kit twice in my stash. Like I'm, I'm considering buying another copy of this just to have in case I want the experience of working on it again someday. Um, that really is just how much I love it and how much I loved every moment of working on it. Now, I know you can't see the whole thing in frame, so I'm gonna zoom you out just a little bit here. There you go. Now you can see, see more of her in frame. Oh my gosh, what an absolutely beautiful, beautiful piece. And I feel like Diamond Art Club just did a, a really, really nice job of translating this into diamond painting form because I, I admit that even when I looked at the original artwork, I did not realize just just the extent of the level of detail in this piece. So um, it it I feel like of course really did well to have square shaped diamonds because that really maximized the amount of detail that we could get. As far as special drill colors that it had, it had three AB colors, um, an aqua AB, a 
pink is that, that's pink right yeah 124 a pink ab and then an orange ab kind of a tangerine orange and then we also had three fairy dust colors we had kind of a lime green um, a pale is pale yellow i believe and then a pink fairy dust and it's in a lot of the places where I, where I feel like you wouldn't be surprised to see it um i'll bring you down in a minute and show you where where those are but i feel like when you just kind of look at it as a whole you can kind of see maybe some of the areas that those special drills are um like the oranges and the the fish and the pinks in the flowers here and here there's some blues in the piano itself here and I feel like it does do a nice job of really elevating this painting really beautifully um, you can probably tell <laughs> by looking at this that we had just oodles and oodles of color blocking up at the top so so much color blocking this is definitely one where I feel like it serves you well to get get um, efficient with a multi-placer I was really, really incredibly happy because the drill quality on this piece was just absolute top notch. Uh, and I know that sometimes it's a little bit luck of the draw. Diamond Art Club does generally have really nice quality square diamonds, but I just was nervous. I thought, you know, there have been some pieces I've worked on where the background, you know, the predominant background color, it just, it ends up not being really nice quality drills, but these were perfection. <laughs> they were so, so, so good. Um, but yeah, I know some people are not huge fans of color blocking, especially light colors, but these fit together really beautifully. And I feel like, especially as we're kind of here to viewing distance, I feel like you're not seeing any gaps or shifting. That's maybe just me. Um, but not that it was just really, really nicely done. Um, some just other things that I, I noticed and that maybe I tweaked a little bit. So I did see uh, when I did the unboxing and when this piece, you know, previewed and everything, um, a couple of things. So I saw a couple of people say like, oh, she only has one foot. Um, what what's going on with that? What's wrong with the artwork? And if, I don't know if you can see, she has a foot forward because she is, she's using the pedal um, with playing piano. So that's, that's where her other foot is. There's not a mistake with the artwork. And I do think that the transparency of the glass bench um, with her leg behind it, where you can see it partly, I actually think it works really, really well. <laughs> um, I did make a modification with the piano keys, which I had one or two people comment on uh, I think it was my sneak peek unboxing, or maybe it was a post I put up in the VIP group. But a couple people said, oh, are you going to try to fix the black piano keys? And I did, but I didn't really, I don't think I took a good before picture of it. But essentially, like from here over, um, the black keys were like a whole row shorter all along here. And they just looked just a little bit stubby and just like as a pianist and the kind of thing that I would notice I thought you know I am gonna tweak it I think and I'm like looking at the original artwork and going like how in the world did Diamond Art Club even render these piano keys like how how <laughs> so I wasn't trying to get like a perfectly technically correct piano keyboard like that just wasn't going to be possible but I at least wanted to get close with sort of the impression it gave it was really, really, really hard. And yeah, there are other things I still look at and go, ooh, maybe I would tweak that a little bit. But I do I do think I like the way that it looks where I kind of just, basically the effect is that the black keys are all just like one row of drills longer, like extended. Um, but otherwise I did not make any modifications to this kit, any extra enhancements or anything like that. But I do want to bring you down closer and show you some of the areas with special drills that I think you'll really enjoy seeing up close. Okay, so this area actually has most of our special drill colors in it. Um, we have a amazing pink fairy dust in here that I think is my favorite fairy dust color ever. Let me see if I've got, yeah, I have the drills over here I didn't show you, but this is the color of that fairy dust drill. I had some static, so yes, there's a dryer sheet in there. Um, but just that fairy dust is incredible. I love that color. Um, and so that was found in the flowers along with there's some pink ABs in here. And then there's a pale green fairy dust throughout the plants here. I think I might've said lime green earlier. It's not, this is kind of a pale green. Oh, there is a lime green in a different section. Okay. Um, and then we have some pale green fairy dust right here, along with some blue ABs. The blue ABs um, are kind of an aqua blue and they do some highlighting on different parts of the piano. Um, there's some highlighting, sorry, this is like really much shakier than it usually is. Uh, there's some blue ABs like in here that I thought were really nice and kind of here in the piano, just kind of giving a little extra like, I don't know, it elevates it and makes it feel more like that glass effect in my opinion. 
Now the fish. How cute are these little fish in the piano? There's orange ABs in the fish and more of the pale green fairy dust in here, more of the blue ABs all through here. And then in her skirt, there are there is a more of a lime green fairy dust here some pink ABs and lots of the pink fairy dust which i think the effect of the pink fairy dust is just amazing <laughs> and then in her hair and these flowers up here we have um more of the pink fairy dust and some of the lime green fairy dust here and there's some blue ABs. I think these are her earrings or maybe little just danglies off of her, this like hair piece. And then you guys, here is the big background <laughs> color here. And yes, like I cringe a little bit when we're up close like this and you can see some of the like little gaps here and there. I have been tempted to go to try to go back over and even those out a little bit, but I genuinely feel like when you are standing back, you're just not seeing that. <laughs> um, and white white and other light colors are notoriously just really prone to this sort of thing there are some solutions apparently that you can try out there um to try to get rid of the 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 visuals of that like gapping and and those sort of multi-placing bits but i'm just i'm just gonna leave it i'm not messing with it <laughs> we have a little bit more of the blue ab here again like kind of highlighting in some aspects of the piano and here as well I just feel like they did a really, really beautiful job and I'm just so happy with how this turned out. The fishes are probably one of my favorite parts too. <laughs> Let me bring you back out. Now, as far as other things that I really enjoyed about this piece, um, I, I found that the materials were really, really nice to work with. They're kind of that typical Diamond Art Club standard. Um, the canvas material and the glue were top notch. The drill quality was really nice. It had a, a lot of, I don't think it was 100%, but it was almost entirely uh, their newest kind of drills. They're regularly looking at ways to kind of upgrade and update them. They've gone through a few iterations. Like when they started, it was a mix of nine and 13 facet drills. Then for a while it was all 13 facet drills. And then they've been kind of increasing it to be even more faceted, somewhere in the 20-ish range of faceted drills. The background color, that white that I had to color block a ton of was definitely those newer drills. They definitely feel a little bit pointier almost they're they're just they're very very fast it is just the best way i have to describe it i had plenty left over in every single drill color in fact 3865 which was the background color where is it not only did i have this much left i had a whole bag that i hadn't opened yet so i love that they really do give you i think they say about 20 percent extra above what the kit calls for so that if you do have any issues with drills that you have plenty to choose from or if you like you know spill a little bit or something um but i i love that i had plenty left over in all colors and the quality was really really good on this particular kit i thought this kit had a really nice mix of color blocking and confetti there was a good amount of confetti in the details, like with the fish and the flowers, uh, but obviously tons of color blocking in the background. I would say that this kit generally does have more color blocking than confetti. And in that sense, I felt like it went faster than a kit of this size otherwise might have gone. Um, I've worked on kits in this size range that have been a lot more confetti heavy and probably taken me, you know, a third to twice as long of uh, amount of time to, of hours to complete. So I don't actually track my hours, but just general sense of how long a kit takes me to complete. I was working on this one um, concurrently with two other larger whips at one point, I think three. So uh, it did, you know, that's why you, see, you saw kind of a longer, like a three week uh, start to finish window. Otherwise, I really think that I could have had this kit done in, in like a week to week and a half. But I really enjoyed extending the amount of time I was working on it because then I just got to enjoy the process. And really, honestly, I enjoyed every single time I sat down to work on this, even the color blocking, where it was like, no, there's not a ton happening right here. But like, I just can't believe I get to work on this beautiful artwork as a diamond painting with this fantastic quality and this this rendering that is turning out so beautifully. And I feel like is doing this artwork justice just in my, you know, that's of course subjective, but that's just in my, my opinion and kind of the experience I was having working on it. Obviously I'm biased because of all the things I talked about with how like, 
I just, I adore this artwork. I've been waiting for it. And um, so I fully acknowledge my, my bias a little bit here. <laughs> um, I thought that the special drill placement was fantastic. Like I talked about, that's one of my favorite things about this kit. Um, and as far as just things I was like, meh on, it was just um, honestly really uh, something is, <laughs> It's really, really incredibly, incredibly nitpicky. And again, if you don't play piano, you don't necessarily even would have noticed it, uh, but just the, the tweaks that I made with the keys. But I genuinely look at this and go, how in the world did they manage to render this level of detail this well? Like that had to have been such a huge challenge. And so that being said, like I just am so, I'm so content with it. I think it's really, really beautiful. Um, so I think you guys that kind of I think that kind of wraps this one up. Oh, I did want to add in just one other disclaimer that maybe I should have mentioned up front. My apologies, but um, I should also say that I was actually I was sent this kit as a sneak peek um, by Diamond Art Club. I do share sneak peeks from them regularly on my channel, but I strive really, really hard to stay unbiased and to give you guys my very honest um, opinion that's free of, you know, sort of any obligation. So, but, uh, so any bias that you're hearing from me regarding this kit in this review, um, is just what I said earlier, which is that like, I adore this original artwork. I play piano. I am 100% biased in that sense. But just in terms of what I'm trying to communicate to you about things like uh, the quality of the materials and how I feel about the rendering and um, just sort of the overall experience of working on a diamond art club kit, I've tried to keep that as objective as possible. So uh, hopefully that at least gives you a sense for, okay, this is what I can expect. If not um, from this specific piece, if this isn't your taste, like this is just sort of what you can expect on the whole from Diamond Art Club. They hand chart their kits. So you're gonna get um, a lot of times some clean lines, but this one obviously they have managed to like capture a lot of detail and give some softness to it. Um, you're gonna get uh, really nice quality materials, including I love their canvases and glue. It's gotta be one of my favorite canvases and glue to work on. It's so, so nice. It holds drills beautifully, lays flat really well and displays nicely. Um, I, I, have run into some hiccups with their drill quality before, but I have to say on this kit, I did not have any issues with any colors whatsoever. Um, so, you know, I am thankful for that. I don't know if it's, you know, a lot of light colors means it's less prone to issues, but just genuinely no issues with the drills on this kit um, or anything else, you know, symbol clarity, uh, anything else like that. So this is, this is the absolutely beautiful My Inner Sanctuary by Yume Art from Diamond Art Club. I do think that as of the time of this filming that this kit is out of stock on the website, but I, I think that you can sign up for re back in stock notifications, like restock notifications. And I do very much hope that they will be restocking it, but there's no there's no guarantees. If nothing else, there are some D-Stash groups on Facebook, like DAC Fans is one, and I'll try to remember to have that linked below in case you know, you're know you looking for a kit that's either discontinued or not currently in stock, but you really wanna try to get your hands on it. Those are some you know resources you could try. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope that this review was helpful and gave you, like I said, a sense of not just what this particular kit looks like completed, but just generally what this company has to offer so you can kind of decide if this is for you or not. But let me know what you think, you guys. I promise you won't hurt my feelings if you're like, meh, I didn't, I don't necessarily love it. Um, I, I promise it's fine. <laughs> but um, I really enjoyed working on this one and hearing your guys' is just really kind words and excitement surrounding it too. But um, yeah, I hope that you'll consider subscribing if you want to stay up to date with my diamond painting content. I'm going to try to get back to doing these dedicated review videos more often. And um, I'd love to have you here as part of my community. I try to do lots of unboxings and reviews and tutorials and all that good stuff. So anyway, I'm going to let you go. I hope you have a day and a week that is as wonderful as you are. And I will chat with you in the next one. Bye.